In this video, I'll show you how to solve optimization problems in calculus. This is part two of the series. As discussed in part one, the steps to solving optimizations are the following. And the end goal is to find points that are going to represent either the absolute maximum or minimum. The question reads, a farmer wants to fence off a rectangular field with an area of 1,000 meters squared. What dimensions should it be so that the fencing costs are minimized? So we know that the fence will be a, re a rectangle and that its area will be 1,000 meters squared. So let's start off by writing out some important formulas. We know that the area of a rectangle equals length times the width. And we know also that the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. We can replace this variable with 1,000. So we have 1,000 is equal to length times the width. Now that we have two equations, we can isolate for one of these variables and place it inside the other. So we combine the two equations. I'm going to isolate W. And the reason why I chose W is totally arbitrary. You could have isolated L, it's up to you. So I'll isolate for W and then I'll take its content and place it into this equation. W is equal to 1000 over L. Next, I'll take this and replace it with a W found in this equation. So P is equal to 2 times L plus 2 times 1000 over L. The next thing that I'll do now that I have a combined equation, which is what I wanted, is I will try to find the critical values for this equation. And what that means is I need to find the derivative of this equation, set it equal to zero, and find out what my L's are. Let's do that. The derivative of 2L is equal to 2. And I'm going to multiply this out. If I do that, I end up with 2,000 over L. And remember, 2,000 over L is the same thing as 2,000 times L to the power of negative 1. So I'll use the power rule for this, and if I do that, I end up with negative 2,000 L to the power of negative 2. And the reason why is because in the power rule, you take this number down, you multiply it by the coefficient, and then you subtract this by 1. So this ends up becoming negative 2,000 over L to the power of 2. These two are interchangeable. And I'll use this expression negative 2,000 over L squared. So this is the derivative of P. As I stated earlier, I need to find the critical points. So I'm going to set this equal to 0. And if I do that, I end up with the following. Negative 2,000 over L squared is equal to negative 2. And since there's a negative on this side, a negative on this side, we can ignore them. Next, I will isolate for L squared, multiply both sides by L to the power of 2, which gives me 2,000 is equal to 2 times L squared. Divide both sides by 2 at this point, 2,000 over 2. And then on the right side, we have L squared, so we're going to square root this. And we end up with 1,000 square rooted is equal to L. Now, of course, there's two versions to L. There's a positive and negative. Look at the question. How can you have a negative length? So we're just going to assume that l the length is positive. So now that we found our critical point, we have to use the closed interval method to find out whether the first derivative is increasing or decreasing. And from that, we can find out whether it's an absolute maximum or absolute minimum. And the way we do that is we create a chart and recall that in your original equation before we create that chart recall that in your original equation which is stated right here you had an L variable in the denominator position the reason why it's important is because that could actually serve as a vertical asymptote and if we find the domain of this equation we can also use that as a critical number 
So in this situation, L cannot equal to zero. We also have to consider this when creating that chart. We have to pick values that are when L is less than zero, when L is in between the square root of 1000 and zero, and values of L that are greater than the square root of 1000. So using P prime, we can substitute values that are less than zero. And let's do that. Two times 2000 over negative one to the power of two. And this will obviously give us a negative number. We don't need to find the number, just need to know its symbol. We're going to choose a number between zero and approximately 30. So let's pick 20. 2000 over 20 to the power of 2. And let's use our calculator for this. 2 minus 2000 over 20 to the power of 2 is equal to a negative number. And lastly, we need to pick a number that's greater than the square root of 1000. 2 minus the square root divided by the square root, and let's choose 1001. And of course, we need to square this, gives us the following gives us a positive number. Notice that that's a positive number, and of course, you can always choose even, an even greater number. Let's choose that, and you still get a positive number. So it is decreasing decreasing, and then increasing. This suggests that our function was decreasing, 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 and then at some point it started to increase. And of course this is just an example here. Uh, this would be P and L. And uh, of course, since that's the case, this would be a local minimum. Now that we've confirmed that L is a local minimum, the square root of 1000, we can go ahead and find our W. And it's really easy to find your W. W is equal to 1000 over L. And if we substitute this value into L, we should also get W is equal to the square root of 1000. So to conclude our question, they were saying, what dimension should it be so that the fencing costs are minimized? Well, the length needs to be the square root of 1,000 meters, and the width needs to be the square root of 1,000 meters. And there you have it. That is another type of optimization problem that you might encounter and its solution. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.